Hello friends, welcome back. From this video, we are going to understand one of the most important topic in Lean Six Sigma and that is team management. This topic is very important if you are going to understand theoretical as well as practical side of Lean Six Sigma implementation. This topic is also important from the examination point of view. We are going to understand these topics in various segments starting from what is meant by team, what are the different team types and constraints, we are also going to understand what are the fundamental elements of team, then how to select the team members and how to assign the roles and responsibilities to them. Then we are going to understand how to launch the team so that we can have the successful results. We are also going to understand other important topics related to team management that is team motivation. We are also going to understand what are the different stages of team and how the people are behaving in different stages of the teams. We are also going to understand what are the meaningful tactics for effective team communication. We are also going to understand why time management is important for the team management and what are the different tools and techniques in it. We will also going to understand team dynamics. This is very important because what is the behavior of the team members and what should be the action that we should take so that we should have the effective implementation of the team. And into the last part of this team management, we are going to understand various team decision making tools. So these are the different parts of the team management that we are going to learn in detail. To start with, we are going to select the first topic and that is what is meant by team, what are the different types of team and what are the constraints. When we are going to learn what is meant by the team, what are the different types of team and what are the constraints, there are two important topics that we are going to see. The first one is we are going to understand what is meant by team and then what are the different types of team depending on the different criteria. Now let's see each of these topic in detail. The first topic is what is team? So we are going to understand the definition of team. Team is a group of people who perform interdependent tasks to work toward accomplishing a common mission or specific objective. We are also going to understand what is meant by the mission and what is a specific objective when we are going into the team elements part. If you take an interesting full form of the team, it is together everyone achieves more. So that's a very interesting full form of the team. Now, after understanding what is meant by team, let's go into the detail of what are the different types of team. There are mainly two types of teams. The first one is we can call it as a general type and the second one is we can say it is based on the constraint. Let's see first what are the general types. In general types, there are two main types. The first one is formal and the second one is informal. We are also going to understand what is meant by the formal and informal in detail. If you are talking about the formal teams, then it is having some specific characteristics. For example, the formal team has a specific goal. Now what is meant by that? The team has formed for the particular mission or purpose. And a formal team has a team charter. What is the meaning of that? When we are saying the team is formal, then we are having the list of team members. We are also having the roles and responsibilities for each of the team members with timeline. and. We are also noted down what is the support needed from management while execution of the activities by the team. The next type of team is informal and as the name suggests, there is a fluid membership depending on the need of team members. So there is no fixed team members and there is no fixed roles and responsibilities assigned to team members. So that depending on the need, we are going to shuffle the team members and we are going to accomplish the task. So this is the informal team. Now let's understand what are the different types of team based on constraints. Based on constraints, there are four types of team. The first one is virtual. The second one is process improvement teams. The third one is self-directed teams. And the fourth one is work groups or natural teams. Now let's understand what is the meaning of each of these team and what are the different characteristics of that team type. When we are talking about the virtual teams, it consists of the people that are at different locations who may be never meet in the person. So that can be at the different geographical locations. Communication which is happening between the team members is through either email or other online mediums like video conferencing, online meetings like that. And these virtual teams are useful when expertise is present across the globe or at longer distances so that it is not possible all the team members will come together and discuss on the important topics. The next type of team is 
the process improvement teams now when we are discussing about the process improvement teams these are formed to find and initiate changes in specific processes these process improvement teams are the cross functional teams including members from the all groups likely to be impacted by changes so the people from this team can be from the production maintenance logistic sales marketing customer care and all the areas who are going to be impacted by this process improvement the third type of team is the self directed teams as the name indicates the self directed team has a broader and ongoing mission this team includes day to day operations and make decisions about the organizational operations now what is meant by organizational operations so these teams taking care of safety quality customer complaints maintenance scheduling human resources and all the day to day operations of the organizations and the last type of team is the work groups these are also called as natural teams now when we are talking about the work groups or natural teams they has a responsibility for particular process like department specific line etc these work groups or the natural teams are formed based on the belief that employees will be more productive if they have a higher level of responsibilities for their work so there can be the lot of flexibility in these teams based on how the involvement or ownership the team members are going to be take till the point we have understood what is meant by team and what are the different types of team based on general types and different constraints now let's understand what are the fundamental elements of team with the help of practical example in next video if you have found this information useful then please do not forget to like comment and subscribe at the end of this video if you want to learn lean six sigma most practically and effectively then please visit at vijaysabe.co/join thank you for watching and see you in the next video